Yeah. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? The world is a crazy, crazy place. Every day it gets more and more interesting, and it's just, yeah. So every year, because the world's so crazy, every year I try to put myself and my family in a better, better position to be more prepared for whatever the future holds, short-term, long-term emergency. And that is why we're going to talk about Faraday bags. We're not need any Faraday bags. We're going to talk about these fancy, fancy Faraday bags from Go Dark. They're really nice, fancy Faraday bags. All right, let's start at the beginning for you folks who don't know what a Faraday bag is. A Faraday bag is going to block any electromagnetic pulses, fields, anything electromagnetic. So that's going to be like your Bluetooth signals, your Wi-Fi signals, your set, all the different types of cell signals, you know, 4G, 5G, etc. The different types of Wi-Fi as well. And it's also going to protect your device that you put in here from EMPs. Sorry about that from EMPs and from EMFs. Now an EMP, if you don't know what an EMP is, it's like a bomb that doesn't kill anyone. Uh, tons of good books and movies. If you've never heard of uh, One Second After, if you've never listened or read that book, I listened to it on Audible and that's what got me um, taking my preparations very seriously. Anyway, EMP. Um, it can be naturally occurring and it can be man-made. Like lightning can be a form of EMP. Um, man-made, like a, a bomb goes off in the air um, both of them can either temporarily fry electronics or permanently completely fry electronics. So a lot of the movies and stuff out there, you know, a big bomb goes off, all the electronics are fried, and how are you going to survive if you have zero electronics? Man, the, the books and movies are really entertaining, but it is a legit thing. The military has been hardening their devices and preparing for something like this for decades, so it is legit. Now, EMS, real quick. I've never heard that term until this review, so I know very little about EMFs, but it's electromagnetic field. It's the electromagnetic pulses that all the devices around us put out, like power lines and large appliances and stuff like that. And that constant barrage of electromagnetic fields uh, hitting our devices supposedly can be bad for them. Again, I know nothing about it, but that was on their website and I wanted to present it as well. So me personally, I have always was always more concerned about EMPs for these type of devices. I have some key electronics. I keep key electronics in lower quality Faraday bags, soon to be in these that I'll go over in just a second. But as I was doing research for this video, I saw a lot of people mentioning and the website mentioning not being tracked, where if you put your cell phone in one of these bags or your iPad or whatever, uh, you can't be tracked. So even if you're not doing anything illegal, if you're, you know, hell, if you go into a, a gun show and you don't want your phone to be tracked, whatever, whatever the scenario is, it's always nice to have the ability, stick your phone in there, not have it get damaged or anything happen to it, or excuse me, not have anyone track you or know where you are or know what's going on, I thought that was good. Uh, another good example is also people hacking you. If people get close enough to the device with the reader or in your wallet with the reader, a key fob with the reader, they can they can read that device and if it's in a Faraday bag, you are more protected. Uh, a key fob is a great example as well and we'll get into that in just a second. So anyway. Godoc has a bunch of bags. This is the cell phone size bag. They also have these big dry bags. This is the five liter bag. They also have a bigger 10 liter dry bag as well. They have one uh, cases for tablets. They have like, iPads. They have cases for laptops. They have a bunch of different sizes. They have uh, fanny packs, wallets. Um, What's the other one? An actual wallet. Now the, the fanny pack and the neck wallet and stuff are just RFID protectors where these bags will protect RFID and everything else that I already mentioned. Um, now in the beginning of the video I said these are much nicer than the average Faraday bag. The other one I have um, is kind of like a, a plastic bag meets some foil and it's kind of clear-ish and it's not very nice. It's It seems to work well, but these are a lot nicer. I think they're going to last a lot longer. Very important, inside there's some very soft mesh material. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you, but if you're putting your electronic devices in there, it'd be nice not to get them all scratched up and messed up, so that's in there. Also inside of here, there's some a couple layers of foam, so it's going to protect a little bit whatever's in there. Also. There's obviously the shielding fabric, the shielding material that's in there. That's the important part. Um, with both of these bags, it's very important to fold over the top a couple times and you'll see the difference between the black and the gray. You have to fold that black over a few times and then put the orange over the logo. And uh, if you don't do that, it's not going to give you the proper protection that you're going to need. Now the exterior um, is very, very aesthetically pleasing. I think the gray and the black with a touch of orange looks very, very nice. It's like a 600D polyester material. And I think these are going to last for a very, very long time. The material seems like it's solid and stitch well, and I think it's going to be good to go. Um, the things I keep in here, I'm going to keep uh, my old cell phone, 
Uh, I have my old cell phone in a Faraday bag, which I'll put in here. And then in this bigger bag, I'm wanting to keep my night vision. Uh, I have a PVS-14 white phosphor here. And uh, if an EMP ever did come and I lost that, that would be a bummer. Having that in the end of an uh, unlikely, I get it, end of the world scenario, having night vision would be such a superpower. Being able to see at night for offensive reasons and defensive reasons, that would be huge. And I definitely want to make sure that is protected at all cost. Um, words to the wise, whatever you decide to put in here, you need to make sure you also put a power source in here as well. Like if you're going to put a cell phone in there, put the charging cable in there. Now, if you have the charging cable in there, how are you going to recharge this device? You have this device, but once the battery dies, what are you going to do? Now there's small hand cranks that will charge it. There's something like these small battery backups, but again, you have to protect these from an EMP. So the bigger 10 liter bag, you could probably put one of these devices in here uh, as a battery backup, but then how do you charge that? You're gonna need solar pot panels or something. So anyway, you get the point. Whatever you decide to put in here, make sure you have a power source, batteries, whatever you need to run that device. All right, enough talking. Let me go get my daughter or my son's phone. We'll do a quick test on this and then you can get out of here. All right, got my daughter's phone. I got my phone just to show, prove to you that it works. Doesn't show my number, okay. My phone's ringing, there you go. Uh, decline, put it in the Faraday bag. Close it up again, you wanna fold it. Let me give myself a call. Calling, calling, calling. I hope you can hear the, the ringing here, I'll put it on the speaker. Okay, you can hear my daughter's phone ringing, you cannot hear my phone going off at all. Let me see if I have time to take it out of the bag and see if it'll start ringing. I don't wanna show you my screen, sorry. All right, let's try that again. Phone's in the bag. It's dialing, you're not gonna hear it. Let me see if I can take it out real quick and see how long it takes for the phone to ring. There you go. Take it out, it starts ringing. So that's kinda cool. Anyway, all done with the devices, you get the point. All right, pros. These are much nicer than a lot of the other Faraday bags I've seen. You know, I've seen some really overpriced ones and these are not too bad. So uh, a lot of like those really cheap plasticky Faraday bags, I question the durability. I think these are going to last a lot longer. Some of the smaller bags, $60, $70 is where they start and they go up from there and then they get north of 100 pretty quickly, especially when you go to these much bigger five liter and 10 liter bags. Obviously these are going to cost a lot more money. Um, free shipping over $100, I thought that was cool. Accepts cryptocurrency, I thought that was cool also. So if you're on their website, free shipping over 100 bucks if you get a couple of them or if you get one of the more expensive ones and they accept cryptocurrency. Don't have any cons, I don't, uh, they're, they're again, a little bit more expensive than those cheesy Faraday bags but I do think they're higher quality so I don't mind paying a little bit more for higher quality. There's a lot of other bags that are a lot more expensive that I don't see a value in but these, I think they are, um, are worth the money. Again, let me remind you, whatever you put in here, make sure you have the accessories in here you need. Think about protecting your key fob or at least your backup key fob. Put your secondary key fob in one of here, assuming you have your car protected from an EMP as well, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Let me thank Go Dark. Um, they did send these to the channel to review and that's very, very nice of them. I appreciate it. I will absolutely put them to use. Those old Faraday bags I have, I keep on pointing over there because they're over there. Those will go as backups and I'll start using these today. I put some affiliate links down in the video description. If you want to pick anything up from Go Dark, please use those links. Helps me out. Doesn't cost you anything extra. I get a small kickback. I appreciate it. Helps keep the channel going and everybody is happy. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. If you wanna know what I'm reviewing right now in real time before you see these videos on YouTube, the link to both Facebook, Instagram, what was previously known as Twitter, all those links are down there if you wanna give me a follow on any of those channels. That's all I got for you. Thank you guys for watching. It is truly, truly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, please like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notifications. If you do any of those things, Santa will put one of these Faraday bags in your stocking to protect your stocking from an EMP. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs> Peace.